Hello, this is Kitty from Mia Tech. I'm going to share with you unboxing MYD JX8 MQ6 development kit and all the details. Open the box, there is a quick start guide and a packing list on the top. Under the foam, we can see the development board. The CPU module is in the middle of it. On the other side of the box, we can see the accessories, one power adapter and several power converters, one Wi-Fi antenna, one 4G LTE antenna, one HDMI cable. A 64 GB SD card with the resource is already plugged into the dashboard. Let's check the main components. I would like to show details of the CPU module first. The module is equipped with heatsink because much heat is created while the processor is working in high speed. On the middle of the CPU module is the NXP IMX 8M processor, which features advanced implementation of a 1.3 GHz quad ARM Cortex A53 core. A general purpose 266 MHz Cortex M4 core is for low power processing. LPDDR4, 1 GB or 2 GB optional, up to 4 GB. EMMC, 8 GB by default, supports up to 64 GB. Ethernet 5, PMIC, 256 megabit QSPI flash. The SOM is connected to the career board through a 0.5 mm pitch 314 pin MXM3 expansion connector. A lot of signals are brought out, including one Ethernet, two PCIe, three serial ports, up to 108 GPIOs, etc. The bottom side. The CPU module is 10 layer design and the career board is 6 layer design. Let's check the interfaces on the career board. 12 volt DC power in, 2 amperes at maximum. HDMI supporting one display, resolution up to 4K at 60 Hz. Four USB hosts which are brought out through USB hub. USB Type-C, audio out and audio in, one gigabit, one gigabyte Ethernet, micro SD card slot, SIM card slot, Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth module, PCIe signal, two external antenna connector, one for Wi-Fi and one for Bluetooth, LED, USB based mini PCIe interface for LTE module. The LTE module we test with is Quacktail EC20. GPS function is available. ESPI, 2 UART, debug, 2 expansion headers which bring out unused GPIOs, 140 pin and 130 pin, both 2 mm pitch. Boot switch, buttons, one for reset, one for on and off, and one for user. RTC battery holder, two Mi PCSI camera inputs, four lane each, 24 pin FPC connector, 30 pin big LBDS LCD connector, six pin backlight and six pin touch panel, generally 14 inch or above LCD, supporting one display resolution up to 4K at 60 Hz. 40 pin small LVDS LCD. On the bottom side of the career board, there are a NVMe PCIe M2 SSD interface for high speed storage and a MIPDSI display interface, four channels supporting one display resolution up to 1080p at 60 Hz. The two LVDS interfaces are routed out from MIPDSI, so only one of these three display interfaces can be used at the same time. The HDMI can work independently to achieve dual display. We have tes tested dual camera and the dual display. You may watch the video I up 
uploaded earlier if interested.